Hey guys, Willie Adolf here with the Adolf Group. How are you doing? I basically want to try to help you understand the process of purchasing a home. So let's go into it. One, you want to get a loan officer. You want somebody that you can talk to because they're going to be needing to collect uh, documents from you. And once you schedule that time, you're going to have, number two, a consultation with them. Now, in this consultation, they're going to ask you for important and sensitive information. And you must give it to them if you want to qualify for a home. They'll ask for certain things like check stubs, W-2s, and then there'll be some other items as well. So then, number three, once you turn in all the items that's required, then you can move on to the pre-approval. Man, once you get the pre-approval, what that's going to do is that's going to determine what and what the amount of the house will be. If it's going to be 200, 300, 400, a million, whatever your desire is, you have to make sure that the we get a pre-approval letter. Once you go from there, now you talk to a real estate agent like myself or the Adolf Group, and we can definitely help you go to number four, find your home. Once we could go looking at house shopping, you know, that's, that's the, the magic of everything. Because once you find a home, we go into number five, put in an offer. Sometimes we have to be a little aggressive with our offers and, you know, but we also want to be reasonable with our offers. Something that you're comfortable with, knowing that this is going to be something that you're, you and your family are going to be living in for some years. Once you get your offer and it gets accepted, then we're writing the contract and guess what? We're setting up for inspection time. Yes, we highly suggest that you get an inspection because every house is made by man and no man is perfect. So there may be some errors, a little, some mistakes or some things that we want to look out for and make sure that you don't have to worry about it a little later. And that was number six. Number seven, once we go through the inspection, now guess what? We turn in everything to the mortgage company and they speak with the underwriters. Now the underwriter is going to get all your information and look at the home, make sure everything is lined up, your income, your home, the inspection, and things like that. And then number eight, once all that is cleared, everything's looking good, you will get a clear to close. A clear to close means now you should be getting documents three days prior to your closing. It could be a little further out, but you definitely get three days so you can over look over all the documents and make sure that the numbers are correct. Then we'll go to number nine, closing day. Once we go to closing day, we'll actually start wrapping everything up and you'll be writing one check to the title company to have everything done. And then number 10, you are a homeowner. Once the deal funds, you get your keys. And once you get your keys, you are in your home. And you cannot do it until the deal funds. And then guess what? When you're dealing with us, we would love a review from you. But here's the 10 easy steps of making you a new homeowner. Well, I tell you what, I gotta go and I'll talk to you at the next one. And remember, when you got will, you got away. My name is